I'm a little early because I'm ready for action now. Um, I'm sorry, Magda, I didn't contact you in advance. I didn't tell anybody I was going live. I just wanted to get the rest off my chest. Um, since I did my last live, I uh, haven't been very well. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what it's like to have an autoimmune, but stress is the worst thing. And I literally have a full on <laughs> flare. And I uh, didn't sleep very well that night. Didn't sleep well, well last night either. And I'm really not well today. I'm, I feel so sick today. Every part of me is hurting. Um, obviously, having to talk about these unpleasant things really affect my physical health. So I'm just going to do this as fast as I can. It's not going to be a three-hour stream, I promise. It's going to be as quick as I can. I never had an opportunity to respond to those original streams that um negs did about me i'm so happy that you're okay it's been so long since i've seen you i miss you so much you are so special my god i'm so glad to see you yeah, I will. If I'm trying my best, this is all to go back in time is it makes me feel so sick to my stomach. And so I've been having these stomach issues because it's it was such a, a, a bittersweet time. And the bitter was very bitter. All right. So some people asked me for the backstory and they didn't know. And the only way to tell the the uh, backstory is with one of an ex's streams where he admits to everything and his petty behavior. So I am going to split the screen and respond to this. Share a video. It's always an ordeal when you're on StreamYards. This is called Vintage Negs of Negative, ne negative Nation. Let's hope you can see that. Let's see if it's on the screen. Okay, good, good, good. Here we go. This is where it all began. Now, in this little rant, he is going between me and MFW. So I have to stop it when he's talking about MFW and he's talking about me. Especially when he men mentions cheeseburger money. Now, people know I don't need any cheeseburger money. <laughs> so let's get it started. Maybe some of you have seen this before. I told, I told you earlier if you did this that those fucking pictures are going to drop. That's, that's when you know. It doesn't matter, matter that she drug makes it out of his brain and brown the whole way to cheat on her money. That he is talking about MFW. It only matters that she's, she's going to be the victim. I told you, Linda, I, I told you that if you did this, that your friends are going to drop. Okay, so I don't understand why in that same breath he's talking about me, but he has my name on the screen. I don't know if you could see it, but he has my name uh, spelled out on the screen of the video. And he doxed me for the very reason he's going to explain in a second. Fuck you dropping him. That's on you. You can deal with that. You took up for Skeeter. Ah, uh, fuck Skeeter, man. You give him, what, six dollars to move out of your own pocket because he can't fucking take care of his own kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't pay his bills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you run on vacations for free and walk away with cash in his pocket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what you did. That's exactly what you did. I gave you money. I paid for vacations. There's nothing wrong with that. And somebody sent me um, a message saying, I'm pathetic that I have to buy my friends. Well, this is the thing. This is how I respond to that. I personally don't consider it that way. But when you have friends and you see a friend struggling and you got some extra money, you help your friends. Next, it wasn't 6000 It was 600 I don't know where he got the 6000 but let's carry on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, That's Linda, Linda Anderson, Anderson from fucking New Jersey. Jersey. Anybody wants their address? I've got it. I've got, got it right here. Um, you should have just been quiet. You should have just been quiet. Linda Anderson is a fucking alien eating fucking scumbag. And she can get fucked in her garbage by the state of fucking New Jersey. Yeah, I don't live in New Jersey. I don't live in New Jersey. I live in Boston and New Hampshire. New Jersey is where I was born. So I don't know if he's upset and he forgot that or just he never knew that. Period. Period. And now my hand's been forced because I can't be bluffed. I, I can't bluff. I'm not bluffing. Okay. He says, panel of pedophiles on Drama Live discussing my kids makes me sick, spells my name, took screenshots of my son who may have been in his underwear. I did not do that. 
he has accused me. I didn't do that. That wasn't me. I'm not going to say who it was unless that person says it's okay. But it was not me. And the reason that happened is because he was trashing some woman, and I don't even know who that woman was, for having her underage child walking around in his underwear when he did the exact same thing. Imagine that. So it was brought to his attention, and of course, I got blamed for it. I have heard somebody who committed suicide. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go like that. That's not me at all. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go there. We leave with a dead rat. She goes, is this your sister, Linda? No, it's not my sister. That's his ex-girlfriend, Lori. Now, at the time, I had no idea that they were exchanging these pictures. She never said. I asked her very, I asked her right up front. She doesn't remember sending him any naked pictures, but I guess she did. And so, in order to punish Skeeter, he had to punish me and punish Lori. Yes. Force my hand. You forced my hand. Now I gotta. Now I have to publish the pictures, and your friends got to deal with the consequences of that because you can't keep your mouth shut. Literally, she decides, "Hey, I'll have my kid, my kid who had just gotten out of mental hospital for trying to kill herself. I'll have my kid create an account. I will, I will masquerade as her on the internet. It's not even a kid; it's an adult. So this is masquerading as Gabby. It's supposed to be your child. It's not a child. She just goes around people start shit with it. So Gabby Mouth is my daughter. Now at the time, I wasn't going to admit that because I didn't want any attacks on her. My daughter has a YouTube channel. She was also a member of his Patreon. And people met her in the Patreon, usually after a stream. Everyone went into the Patreon, whatever, you know, the back, what is it, backstage area, whatever it is. And we all talked privately. My daughter was there as Gabby Mouth, the, the name that I picked for her. You don't have fun with that information. You don't have fun with that information. And as soon as I drop those, uh, those pictures, I'll share the link because you gotta stop, man. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. <laughs> you gotta stop. I'm gonna start dropping shit. So what this bitch is doing is she's like, oh, that's my skater. I'm gonna go over there and skater dick on her channel. I see your life on asking what's really going on between you and Linda Baby, right? What's going on with Linda Baby? I got a little bit of position. I'm gonna go over here. I don't know. I'll do my own thing. I'll tell you this. I don't know. They did it. Um, never happened. Mrs. Jerkins was there all the time. That's ridiculous to even suggest. Skeeter is in his 30s. I am almost 60. Well, almost halfway to 60. I mean, that's just beyond disgusting. But okay, you're angry, and I understand. I didn't give him my credit card. That was quantum. Help, we were trying to help him move out of Ohio into Indiana. And he, he came up short of funds, so we spotted him some money at that time. And um, I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure it was Quantum that somebody gave him a credit card to rent the truck. And I just gave him a little bit of cash. Um, so, again, I did not give him a credit card. He is referring to the panel I went on, MFW, after he had doxxed me. In another, there's another video coming after this one. After he adopts me, I said, all bets are off. Once he docks me, it was all over. But it was also very freeing. So I'm really glad people know who I am. Okay, there was no six grand. I really don't know where that came from. Honestly, to this day, I, I, I obviously it was six hundred. It went to six grand. He's exaggerating. I don't know why, but there wasn't. He, you got treated like a king, like a king, Nags, like a king by all of us. We bent over backwards for you. Really? $6,000? Like you? Like you took care of all of your four children? 
really? With three baby mamas and four children, the guy who refuses to wear a condom gets a girl pregnant and then pisses off? You mean like him? This guy here? Yeah, like you. Mm hmm That's you. Yes, all jokes. Not hard to find out. Help build his platform. Help build his platform. He doesn't really have a platform now. He's in he's in the real world, doing real things. So, con doesn't matter, does it? I want to see receipts that I have ever harassed or bothered you. As far as I was concerned, after the video that I, um, the panel I went on with MFW, I considered the situation finito, done. And I didn't talk about it for like well over a year, maybe even two years. I don't even remember the time frame, but I never talked about it because it was too upsetting for me. But now I'm talking about it. You know, the, it was supposed to be my friend who decided that they were going to uh, tell people very intimate details of my life. I know you did. I know you did. Okay. No idea what he's talking about, intimate details of his life. I don't know what he's talking about at all because this is before I went on. MFW, so to this moment, I don't know. I've told it after he doxed me. Yeah, you sealed your fate on that one. Say goodbye to your anonymity. It's gone. When your best friend will go on the ladies panel who harassed you to the point of a nervous breakdown just because he wants to perform it. Comedy. Look at the jokes I stole, guys. I'm a fucking redneck comic. He's dead original. Our relationship was over by then. Uh, Skeeter realized it, so Skeeter just did his own thing. Didn't need to ask you permission. At that point, none of us wanted to be your friend. He has a bad back. He has a severely bad back. He has to get epidurals every three months. So, yeah, he does. But even with that bad back, it never stopped him from being a decent human being, kind and loving to all of us. I mean, to your audiences, so you money. I don't have any time to use that. You didn't back out of anything. You're still bitter because of it, because he is writing a movie. Okay, you don't get your money for SOS, so it's that much. Uh, you can find a receipt again. Because if uh, Sugar Bond went there, you get $6,000 a move. All that money's gone. Other people auctioned all the stuff, and he didn't even fucking send it out to you guys. That's Lori. That's Lori how she feels about her money being taken and not being given the items she bought. Lori loves Skeeter and doesn't really care. So there you go. There's that. That's our golden boy. It, he is our golden boy. Spiteful he is. bitch. Spiteful bitch. That's, she had nothing to do with any of this. Nothing. Absolutely zip zero. Wasn't involved in any way. Was not in the side chat on MFWs. No idea why you targeted her. Rather disgusting. Uh, yeah, let's talk about my daughter. Shall we? Oh no! Oh no! Did I say your name? Did your anonymity still out the door? No, it's not my daughter's name. This is this is how confused and at the time drug fueled he was. That he was very confused, very very confused about who was who. Hence the reason my daughter joined his Patreon along with me. And we all were in there together with that. There was a guy called um, Hop Frog who was also very confused. The only thing we didn't say was, we didn't exactly say it was my daughter because I didn't want my daughter to be so exposed. But I wanted him to know my daughter, meet my daughter, because she is a productive citizen in her own community. She's graduated high school, graduated Paul Mitchell Beauty School, has her own uh, condo, ha uh, has a boyfriend that lives with her who is also disabled, and she works. It was a good example of showing you how a nonverbal autistic child can grow up to be just like us. That's right, Hot Frog. Hot Frog was in there. He met my daughter. So there you go. There was my daughter. There we go. Skeeter says that whole film uh, thing back then was butchered didn't have no clue back then on what i was doing 
and it being sabotaged by the jump. That's right. That didn't help. She isn't mute. Was I muted? I'm not muted, am I? No, okay. I'm only trying to dox. So is there a, um, um, oh, hang on. Can I give you a mod? I have to give uh, somebody a mod because is there a mod in here? I don't even know. You shouldn't be doxing people in here. That's not right. Oh, gosh. Then I have to get on my phone and try to figure this out. What a loser I am. Yeah, I'm a granny. There you go. Granny Linda, and I can't figure out how this works. Uh, at your studio. I don't know how to do it. It's okay. I'll figure it out later. Magda, do you have a wrench? I can't see it in here. You put it in everything into your kids. Great. Well, you know what? Another uh, uh, not mute when you play his video. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Okay, let me finish. Any y'all watching this, don't bother calling me. I have no desire to talk to any of you. I'm just going to sit here and drag the enamel off your teeth that you deserve. This is what you get when you call people. You call people out for selling DMs to donate money to a woman who is a religious zealot who says that autism is, is karma and that all gays should burn it out. This is what you get for calling that out. From people who have special needs people in their family, they mock the death of somebody close to you that was also special needs. I've also called them out not being advocates. This further proves they are not advocates at all. That was sent to me yesterday, followed up by, I blocked them shortly after that, followed up by some blackmail threats by Pam. Uh, peacocking, it's the same thing they always do, threats, threats, you know, either lawyer this or DMs that, or I'm going to, and basically what she said is I'm going to continue to be a piece of shit and I'm going to, and I, I got messages from said individual, which I know you're all in bed together. I know who you are. And it's real shitty that we have private conversations and now you're threatening to use those against me. That's whatever, man, what kind of fucking piece of shit are you to get somebody's trust? And then you do something publicly, and then your first reaction is to call, is, is to sell them out and blackmail them. That's exactly what I'm almost you certain did. there's a local it's newspaper wherever you are, and I'm almost certain. That's exactly what you did. Next, you did that. You sold all of us out because you were angry at Next. I mean, Next, uh, sorry, Skeeter. That's what you did. The irony there. And then I got money to take out an ad with a straight shot of what you put. For the people that don't read the internet or read Twitter, you gotta be careful. Your reputation will precede you. It will follow you everywhere. You will never escape it. I refuse to go tit for tat with mental pedophiles. I will not do it. I absolutely will not do it. What you do when you do something nefarious and then we call you on it and you threaten to blackmail us over it or do something like that with my 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 with my loss. What you do is you prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that you're a piece of shit. You prove that you're an entitled bitch. No, Peyton Rick, you're done. What does that make you? Honestly, what does that make you? You're not a piece of shit? You're, you're done on YouTube. Hello, so now you are probably wondering who we are and what we are about. You will never know who we are, but what we are about is exposing the truth. The truth of what we know. Last night at 2 a.m., I received a text message from nobody, uh, none other than uh, Miss Fucking Wonderful. Uh, let me, let's see, I'm going to read it to you. Hey, Ron, it's Katie. I know we hate one another right now, but some shady shit going down. They plotting on you in a very bad way. Today, I got these emails. I don't like what's going on one bit. Check this out. I think it writes like Pam. Um... I don't have any solid evidence that uh, anybody from that camp is behind it other than the takedown man. I just proved that he's behind it. But um, I'm going to call bullshit that you were trying to help me because um, I honestly think that you would have uh, jumped on this in a heartbeat to try and uh, discredit me. That's that's me. I got the text at 2 a.m. Um, and I was like, <laughs> I, I it stunk of a setup. It just stunk to high heaven of a setup. Like, let's get a reaction out of eggs. You know, first there was, uh, let's start a forum. 
like Negs. Let's take Negs' uh, YouTube underground thing that he uh, he made up. Oh, let's name one of our, our, our forms nefarious and obtuse. Oh, I'm going to create another channel called Hashtag Hambone. I'm Hashtag Stay Neg. Dude, stop trying. If you want to be like me, that's cool. Just leave me, just leave me alone. I'm surprised. Forgot I was muted. So he basically is saying everybody stole his ideas. The ham bone, when uh, Katie was called ham bone, everybody stole his ideas. Oh, he does? Ronald owes 32,000 pay your bills. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, at the end of the day, hey, Carlos, at the end of the day, I understand, single dad. I, I do. But it's, you know, come on, dude. A lot of us are single parents. I was single mom for some time. A lot of us are saying we do the best we can. We can't go around forever. Oh my God, I'm a single dad. Your 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 son is a teenager now, and he is quite capable of staying home by himself or even walking home by himself. You should be having a job, not being home, taking care of a 15 year old who doesn't. You know, obviously, somebody said he doesn't even live with you anymore. Probably not more people in here. Yeah, this this was, uh, this, oh, they're all probably asleep. That's probably what it is. They spent all night trying to set this shit up, and now they're all asleep. Unless Dale's still up taking his Adderall at whatever motel he's sleeping, sleeping in with whatever white number, number one, two, whatever. Okay. Dude, you are, the, you are the biggest pill popper ever. Ever. You are downing those pills like they were Skittles. So you're going to call somebody else? And they weren't even your prescription. None of them were. The first thing you see when you go into his bedroom are pill bottles all over the desk. Someone sent a screenshot of it. None of those pills had your name on it. Interesting, isn't it? That's right, Jamie. You got that right. You got that right. Now... Everyone is fighting with him. And then he has, he's such a coward. He has this lady fighting for him. And it is insulting. And it's very hurtful. She wasn't there. She wasn't there to witness what we witnessed. The last vacation that we did have together, and also the last time we saw him after the funeral of his son, we were constantly trying to talk him off the ledge. Well, so much Skeeter was. Leave Yaba alone. Leave Katie alone. Let it go. Skeeter was always telling, ignore them. We, we were trying so hard he was going to do all these horrible things. He threatened to kill um, MFW. And the text message is actually on my daughter's Twitter. That was posted. All because he feels let down by people who stole his ideas. Funny, he's uh, Monica says, funny, he's bitching about released hymns when he does it. That's the thing. That is that he does exactly. He used to hate people that showed everybody DMs and he does the same thing. The problem is, I don't know. Well, I don't know anything about borderline personality. And I don't know how people with borderline personality behave when they get um, triggered, as he calls it. I really don't. But he behaves very badly. And if that is part of his mental illness, okay. But we did our best as a group friend. But we couldn't sit by and watch the harassment. And I'm talking about the harassment of Yaba and MFW. None of us liked each other. We were always bickering. Yaba couldn't stand me. Um, Miss F and W, she hated me. She even accused me of calling CPS on Yaba which I wouldn't even dream of doing, not for anybody. There's no way he could have ever convinced me to do something like that. Um, please don't lose your track, Linda. I'm so not feeling well. And I'm in, I'm in my car. I'm using McDonald's Wi-Fi, and it's like 85 degrees. And I want to open the door, but it's it gets uh, too noisy. So I hope you can hear me because I, I might pass out. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot here. I certainly don't want to do this 
with my mom in the house, my 85 year old mother doesn't need to hear me in the other room fighting with people on the internet, you know? No, damn it. People with BT uh, do therapy and learn to control their shit. He is obviously unhinged. Well, it's hard to have any type of one on one conversation with him. He has social anxiety. And um, he, is it the second time I met him? I think it may have been the second time I met him. When he came into the elevator with Heather and with Lori to come and get me in the hotel room because I had all the um, birthday supplies on one of those trolleys that you use at a hotel and had the cakes and the beet and the booze and the snacks for his birthday party. And they came up to help me. And, um, you know, I, I didn't know really about the, I have no idea where I'm going. See, this is what happens when you have brain fog and you have lupus. <laughs> I totally lost track of what I was saying. Um, I, uh, yes, he, he has, his sunglasses on inside. What I'm trying to say is he doesn't like to look you in the eye. He doesn't like to be very close to you. He likes his personal space. That's when I noticed um, that he had really bad social anxiety. And when he did come to the, the stream house, he said he was sitting in the car for 20 minutes because his anxiety was so high. And he finally came in and he would not take his sunglasses off until he had a few drinks or whatever he was smoking outside. And then he was able to take his, and, and he would wear them at night. He would be able to take his glasses off and be more at ease. Just find to the same fact about him. He's weird, possessive nature and jealousy. There is jealousy. Yes, it's just insane to me that something that was so trivial six years ago, oh, yes, it's still being talked about. Like we was a part of an alien cover, right? Oh, my God, you're so right. I'm not sure what it says at the last bit of this. So let's just see what he says. I never saw the whole thing. All these broke ass people have fucking lawyers. They know these people have fucking lawyers. Civil lawsuits. Like a fucking pink pepper lady. Hey, she's a joke. And then these people. I'm really hard you now. Really. You know, if I have 20 grand in legal fees and a freaking of six grand, you lost somehow for calling the police on somebody and harassing them. Retard. Okay, but don't you have a lawyer because you're being. Aren't you in and out of court with these people because of your behavior, because of your threatening behavior, not just bad behavior. You're, you have a, you have very threatening behavior. The time you were waving the gun around and you have done this for years in front of your kid. And we've had to sit and watch you do that. And I just wanted Yaba and Sam to understand that regardless of what we felt about each other at the time, um, Lori, Heather and I and Skeeter tried our best to, to stop him from doing that, from saying those things. We tried to intervene. We didn't sit back and go along with it. I'll tell you that much. We're just too smart for that, to sit back and watch him go after people relentlessly because he can't handle certain things. We tried. And, and you shouldn't have to do that continuously. It was always turmoil with him. Turmoil. I'm not going to go here and talk about uh, wanting to kill myself because of people I've never seen on the internet saying mean things. I may, I, I may actually lack the, the capacity to be a parent if, if that's the case. If, I, if I'm incapable of just turning it off, turning off my comments, or just making a change, I probably shouldn't be a parent either. Well, I don't know if you caught the lat the first video I played where he actually says as he's walking away from washing the dishes, he's out of the screenshot and he says, I, a person that almost pushed me to commit suicide, those were his words. He was talking about MFW. So yeah, obviously, obviously you couldn't handle it because you wanted to kill yourself over MFW talking nonsense. Come on. And I'm going I'm to I'm wrap up on this whole suicide thing because I've just been hearing a lot of it and it's low-hanging fruit. It's like when you start making fun of somebody's kids. Low-hanging fruit. It's where you go to get the most attention. Uh, you're taking away uh, attention from people who may actually do it. And honestly, if you're a parent and you have a kid at home and uh, you're the only person there for that kid, uh, fuck off with going online talking about it. Well, take your kid somewhere in case you, you don't want to wake, wake up and find your dead corpse in the middle of the room, okay? I just 
I just think it's all foreshadowing. Oh, is that what it is? So your behavior is all foreshadowing? And you have been doing this years in front of your child. That's the alarming thing. How many times have we said to you, don't talk like that in front of your children? Don't use that language in front of your children? No, did you stop? No. No, he has witnessed so much of your unraveling in front of your comp computer, losing your mind over stupid shit on the internet. Nobody committed suicide. It's people who uh, are always uh, going, going online and saying they are suicidal, suicidal um, over being bullied in the wood. And uh, <laughs> 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 Why are they doing that to me? Why are they doing that to me? I don't know if you guys have to make it up a second go fund me because I'm trying to keep you a fraud like that. There's no proof. I don't know about a second go fund. I know that I donated one thousand uh, dollars to his to Jessica for the son's tombstone, and it should have been taken down right then and there because it doesn't cost more than a thousand dollars for a headstone. There were, it was uh, accumulated several thousands and all went to drugs, didn't it? Because she was supplying drug, drugs to nags. So at that point, you know, all bets were off at that point. We tried to talk. Once we got back to our homes, I was back in Boston. Skeeter was back where he lived in Ohio. Lori was back at the tail end of Indiana. Heather was back in Wisconsin. And we did one of those hangout things. And I'm not sure if it was hangout or Twitter. I didn't have Twitter. I used my daughter's account for Twitter, who is Gabby Mouth. I think that's where he's getting the confusion. I don't think he could keep it all straight in his head. And we tried. He said that we got on there to pile on top of him. We just wanted to tell him how we were feeling about the situation and that we couldn't continue this. This, what he was doing to all, you know, again, Yab and MF Double, they were fighting, but it's, wasn't really anything to do with us. We didn't want to get involved with it, but we weren't going to sit back and watch this guy continuously harass them and respond to everything they said. It was draining and it wasn't healthy. All right, sorry about that. The the uh, audio is terrible. You're right. His audio is awful. I, I, people didn't understand that video. They'd seen that video. Um, so this is where it all happened. You're a retired nurse. Was it sad? I didn't. I have to go back and then. Turn. I'm like sweating in the car right now. <sighs> Begs and DC was the worst combo they could have. Sorry, sorry, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> Thank you, Terry Lynn. Thank you. I'm so nervous, honestly. I'm I'm like shaking. Because again, go back in time like this, it really upsets me so much what we went through. <sighs> but I, I had to respond to that. Everybody knows who I am now. I feel better that everybody knows. You could check me out. You could watch my videos. I'm approachable. You could come talk to me if you need to talk to me. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to act like a crazy person unless you want me to. I know, right, Jamie? I love you, Jamie. I understand. And if anyone has compassion, it's definitely me for what people are going through. But when you don't understand what people are going through and you try to understand what people are going through and they don't let you in, then you walk away. And you walk away. Oh, that's so nice, Annie. I appreciate that. And it was very hard for all of us. We were all hurting. This wasn't just a case of, oh, we watch somebody on YouTube and we really like them and then they kicked us to the curb. This was, you know, up close and personal kind of thing. You know, our kids, you know, the kids were hanging out with each other. They were befriending. We were, we were making memories for the kids. This was a special thing. And this would still be special with him involved.
but we just couldn't keep up with this crazy behavior. And we didn't want to be involved with somebody who is going to threaten. Thank you, Skeeter, honey. Going to threaten the lives of other people. At the end, Skeeter didn't want anything to do with it. He had a career. He had a career he was going for. And this would have tarnished his career if he was seen with this guy and his racist comments and his misogyny and his abusive side. He, he didn't want that in his life. You know, the guy's got a lot on his plate. He doesn't need that. Soft Reset says, sometimes it's just best to call a scumbag a scumbag, a weirdo, a weirdo, unless you are. Uh, okay. I know. Well, there you go. But I, th I think what is now transpiring is this woman is bringing all this stuff back. This woman has posted on her Twitter about my stream and what a liar and how my story has changed. I'm sorry, but I've had some serious health issues, too many strokes, implant surgery. And um, if my memory is all at all, is it if it's shaky or it's still the same story. It really is the same story. I did forget about the Nikki part. I did. I will say that. I forgot about Nikki, the Nikki part. And then Skeeter reminded me they were the dynamic duo at the time. And she was looking up where everybody lived and, and found Yaba's info and was in the kitchen raging. I'm going to send her seven pizzas and work. No, you're not. No, you're not. Skeeter said, no, calm down. Let's go live. Let's have some fun. We, were, we managed to diffuse that, but it was enough. It was enough. If DC really lives, loves him, as she claims, she would talk. She's going along with it. She is going along with it. And as a woman, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. And to say those things about street carp, another innocent person, Whatever they experienced privately, and they had private moments because they were a couple that should have stayed private. That should have stayed private. It shouldn't been it shouldn't have been blasted all over the internet in his car with his underage son sitting in the chair next to him, sitting in the seat next to him while he described having sex with his girlfriend and blood all over the sheets like there was a massacre. This is what he's saying with his child in the car. So you're basically, well, Beggs wanted to be friends with all y'all, but he was the prick he always been. So yes, well, we kind of dumped each other when he realized it was coming to an end and Skeeter dispersed from the group and went on MFWs. Yes, all hell broke loose. He doxed me and then I went on to MFW because I knew I would have an audience, you know, cause I'm not a real, I'm not a real YouTuber. I just come on here to say hi to my friends every now and then. I don't have a, a monetized channel. I don't need money, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's where it all happened. I want everybody to know that's the truth. There are other people involved. Uh, Heather, if we could find Heather, we can get Heather on. Skeeter has backed up everything I said. And this is also another slap in the face. That DC said, because Skeeter is getting money, he'll say anything. No, he absolutely. Absolutely not. Skeeter is an honest, decent man. He would never lie for anyone. And that's why he, you very rarely see him. You very rarely see him. But he was here backing me up the other day in the chat. Which I appreciate it. 100% true. Three against one. Remember when um, Weinstein started saying all the women that were coming forward and saying those awful things about they were all lying. So what do you think, DC? Are we all lying? All of us? All of us are lying? The whole thing is bizarre. How could we all be lying? And why? Why, why would we be lying? Why would we? Are we butt hurt for some reason? Were we jealous of him? Absolutely not. What would there be, what would you be jealous about? I don't think so, Soft Reset. Big stream to put hands on a woman who had an abortion altogether. Do you know that lady? Um, I don't. Are you, are you talking about, 
Are you talking about streetcar? You think DC makes better content? I'm gonna talk to some of that. Oh my gosh, I have to read the chat so I can. Is hanging on everyone. I d how is it that a woman that smart and that educated and that worldly can believe the things he says? How is that possible? I mean, the whole thing is, it's so bizarre. And the fact that she wants to fight every battle he's ever had, that's insulting, DC. You come up here on my panel. I know you're going live in a half an hour. Why don't you come and talk to me? It's safe here. I'm not monetized. I'm not making any money off of anybody. You tell me how you feel about the situation. Tell me how how you would feel if you were in my shoes. Did I make the right decisions? Who knows? Who knows if any of us did? All we know is we had to walk away and he didn't handle it well. Nobody deserved to be treated like that. Who, who deserved that? And who deserves six years of harassment? I've never harassed Negs. I resent that he called me a stalker. Where? Where is this happening? Where am I stalking him? Why? There's nothing in it for me. My spare time, and obviously not today, but usually my spare time when I'm not at work, do you think I want to spend my time harassing somebody? I'm old. I get tired after work. I'm not, I don't have time. I don't have time for that. I don't have the mental energy, the mental wherewithal to stalk somebody. If there's no benefit to me, and there never will be to stalking anybody, I don't see how there's any satisfaction to stalk you. Oh, is that, is that his, the common thread? Is that what it is? Well, thank you for saying that, Granny. I wasn't supportive in the behavior. Um, it didn't go down well. We tried to have talks with him. It's very hard to talk to him. He's not a one-on-one. -on -one. I just said that he's not a one-on-one -on -one -on -one person. There was one time we had to tell him at one of the stream houses that Heather was sitting by the door waiting for him to come back with the kids from school or from wherever they were. He was picking the kids up. She sat by the, the door for two hours and waited for him. She had such a crush on him. We finally had to tell him. So <coughs> I was in one of the small bedrooms. I don't know what I was in, packing, whatever. And, and Lori came in and goes, look, we got to talk to him next. We'll bring him in here because uh, to get away from Heather. So we bring him in the bed and we lock the door because we know Heather was going to follow. We said, listen, you're going to have to tell her that you're not interested in her. She is all over you. Um, come on, it's not fair to do to her. The guy would not take off his sunglasses. He would not take off his sunglasses. He wouldn't look at us. He kept backing away from us. He has the social anxiety. I said, listen, if you want to keep the glasses on, fine. We're just telling you this. Do not lead her on. It wouldn't be fair. She obviously has a condition of some sort. So maybe she is has some... I don't know, but you can sense that she has something. Again, not a doctor, don't know what it is. She has a live schedule. I, I mean, a live, a live schedule. Why doesn't she come in? Why doesn't, if anyone knows her, listen, come in, talk to me about it. As a, as a you know, woman to woman, I'm sorry, I'm very nervous, I'm shaking because I'm, I'm very nervous. It makes me feel very uncomfortable talking about that. And my anxiety is, you know, pretty bad. Hence the reason I'm stuttering over my words because I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Um, it was a very painful situation for me. Very painful because the group of friends I, I'd grown to love and I got to knew they, they were my, they were being like my 
you know, my biggest supporters at that time when I lost my husband, I was leaning hard and heavy on them and they were taking care of me. And again, Negs was part of that group, but there was no one-on-one -on -one with Negs and I. And one had to go. One had to go. We didn't take the decision lightly. We were all pained by it, but we made a decision. We were getting another house. We were going to be on vacation, all of us together, but he wasn't included. And somebody had to tell him. I personally said, like, I don't care if you guys, it's not going to bother me. No, it's going to happen if you guys, I don't care. It doesn't matter. He's just, like I said before, he's just background noise. But they insisted no, because he ruined it already. I am, Annie. I'm, I'm so nervous to talk about this because I know there's going to be backlash. Can I handle the backlash? No. No, I can't. I'm trying to recover from illness, but I also feel unsettled holding it all in and watching this woman say the things about me. You could say anything else about me, but don't call me the liar when it comes to how I did support him. And how I did include him in my life and introduced my daughter to him. That was a big move. I think it was a big move for all of us. You know? And I am a woman of age. And I've never experienced anything like this. So drama-filled within our friendship. So unsettled. So crazy. So much abuse. Someone called Sam at midnight last night. This room we used a voice changer. Witty, at the end of the day, unplugged. Yeah. No, and, and I have. And, and years have passed. Why? Why is he now spreading a rumor I never heard before that I owns my... That bothers me. What hurts, I suppose, is because I was so upset when my husband died. Now, remember, my husband and I had only been married for seven years. We were basically newlyweds in most of that. Most of that, all of it actually, he was dying of cancer. It's a horrible way to start a married life. It's draining being a caretaker. It's draining being the one source income when your husband's dying. It's draining to drive from state to state because he, he worked in Boston at time until he got very sick and he stopped working. And then I had to carry the weight. That was all very stressful. Listen, do you see, I'm, I'm speaking directly to you. Yeah, I was angry the other night and I said things I probably shouldn't have said, but I, I had to say them because they, are, they were coming out of frustration. For a person that I don't even know, you know what, DC, that made me cry when you said that. That upset me so much when you said that about my husband. You don't know me. You don't know my husband. My husband always encouraged my videos. But when my husband died, I could not see him when he went into a coma. I couldn't see him that way. I couldn't see him die. I couldn't see his dead body and I could not go to his funeral. I couldn't stop throwing up for a week. I couldn't leave my bed. So you, you saying that, you saying that, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? This does hurt me because it's also personal. This is not just somebody I haven't met or Miss Effing Double W calling me up saying y your husband killed himself to get away with you. That doesn't hurt me. That doesn't hurt me at all. But what hurts me is you talking about my husband because your so-called boyfriend wants to continue to be cruel and evil to a person that did nothing but try to help with no apology. None. None at all. Now, Embry Rose is here. She understands our husbands died at the same time. It takes a long time to get over it. There's no time frame. You can't say, oh, after six months, you're okay. After a year, you're okay. Two years. Well, it's been six years. It's been six years. I think you think I could get over it, right? How do you? How do you get over somebody you're so madly in love with that is gone? Gone. All the memories gone. Everything you've been through gone. There's nothing there. Not easy to jump into another relationship. 
It's not easy to fall in love with somebody else when your heart is still tangled up. And I need you coming on telling me things I didn't do. Going on my Twitter and poking me. I was as polite as I could possibly be to you on the Twitter. And you couldn't stop yourself from name calling me. I don't even know you. I don't even know you. Hang on a second. Just want to blow my nose. And the reason I don't come on camera, well, I've discussed it. My health has declined and not looking my best. I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not going to never come on. I'm definitely going to. I look forward to the day I can put on my, my camera. But for now, I am keeping more of a low profile. And I have been. If you see, I don't really stream very often. DC will only use your pain to her advantage. She only wants to. I don't know why. She has a lot of accomplishments. You know? I mean, why? Why lower yourself to that level? That you're fighting with people with bad wigs and big glasses. First of all, I do love, can I just say, I love Hussy. <laughs> Being from New Jersey and New York, I think he is hysterical. I absolutely love his little character that he's got going on. He's funny. Go with it. Go with it. Just go with it. And if he made fun of me, it would make me laugh harder. I would love to be on this panel and have a bicker session with him. He's absolutely harmless. But I will say one thing about him. He's right about a lot of things. Maybe it's life experience. Maybe because in New York, they have a different attitude. You know? Um... I just want to see if anyone wants to ask, even if she wants to call me on the phone, put me on speakerphone so that Negs can hear me. I will do that. I will do that. Because I'd like to put it to rest. I would like for Negs to understand how I was feeling. It wasn't all about Negs. It was about the rest of us, too, how we were feeling. And I'm sure people here in their lives have gone through this with friends. It hurts, doesn't it? It hurts. I, I, can't, I haven't been able to sleep. It hurts me. I'm sick now. I've got a full-on flare. I've told myself on this vacation I'm going to get better. I'm going to recover. I'm going to get better. I had hit my heart monitor more than once since I've been here in Florida. Well, you know what? This is a thing. I'm not a pathological liar. There's nothing I said that was a lie. He admitted to everything on the previous video. The only pathological, pathological liar you have sex. He is a pathological So I can't even talk. This is how anxiety stricken I am. You have no right, TC. You have no right. No right at all. you be coming after me after what he did to me. No right. It's a slap in the face. I didn't admit to lying anything. Never. Show me where I admitted to lying. My memory might not be as good because of the strokes, but I will tell you this. My, my, my story's never changed. The only thing I admitted was the Nikki because, like I said, I'm recovering. I forgot about her. Are you afraid to confront me? Are you afraid to talk to me? I am the easiest person to get along with. And I am the easiest person to talk to. And people know that about me. I've been here a long time. I will drop the link in case you change your mind. But you can believe what Negs wants you to believe, but you have no right to come from me. None. I didn't do anything to you. As a matter of fact, there was one video I said some very nice things about you because I actually liked you. In the beginning, I thought you were good for him. I thought maybe you would change his ways. I thought you would be good for his kids. I was probably a big supporter of you. 
And I don't like to say bad things about other women because I'm, I am a feminist and I'm all for supporting women. Thank you, Mel's Bells. I did. I said, she's pretty. She has beautiful skin. I said, You're, listen, did you not hear me five minutes ago? You are an accomplished woman. You have, you're worldly. You have, you're well-traveled. You lived in other countries. I don't know if you speak other languages. I do. Not anyone that makes it. Not any, you know, Turkish. Who speaks Turkish? I, I speak Turkish. A little bit of Greek. All right, honey. Thank you, Don. And I said in my previous stream, I thought it was a good union because I thought you were a decent person. I thought you were smart enough, worldly enough to know what was the truth and what wasn't. But if you want to continue to fight with me over what Negs is telling you, well, that's, that's wrong on so many levels. So wrong. So wrong. That's my daughter. Do you want to see my daughter? She has a channel. Go and look at the age of the channel. Let me pull it up. Shall I, look, shall I pull up my daughter's channel for you? Hang on. And you check the date. You check the date. Hold on. We all know I used the Twitter is it DMs in a group DM because I didn't have a Twitter account. There we go. I think when we Let's get married, we have no way to fully screen. understand what forever means. Money doesn't buy you happiness. Of course it does. Are you crazy? Here we go. Check the about page. Let me just fast forward. There she is. She's in it. Hang on. There she is. She does some makeup tutorials because she went to beauty school. Okay. She also was in his Patreon and paid for the Patreon, which was $10 a month. Tell me again. Tell me again, DC. Come up here. Stop being a coward. A woman like you should be able to face me. Well, you're not even facing me. My camera's not even off. Why? What are you afraid of? You're afraid because you are spreading misinformation. Nothing of what you said has been true. Nothing. You clearly heard him say, clearly, on the previous video, he said he was doing this because of Skeeter. You heard him say it. You heard him say it. Once he docks me, I told him all bets are off. Never. And you haven't produced any proof. I haven't changed any story. I haven't changed any story because you know why? I didn't speak about it for over, over a year. And only because he was poking at me. But even still, I don't have my my um, original channel anymore. But you are fighting somebody else's battle. And you're the only one. Because there's nobody that believes you. Nobody. Nobody believes this story. They could see how I behave. Over the course of time. In the beginning, it was very rough. Losing your husband. I was off my head. <sighs> But everybody has seen me over the past six years. I don't harass people. I don't bother people. I don't make a million videos on one person. I may drag it a little bit, one or two, maybe three. But if you look, I don't drag people. She's so scared. Look at her. She's not going to come up. She's not going to come up. You're going to end up like all the other women. I'm sorry to say that. But if this is how you are behaving and acting and you can't see through his bullshit, you are going to end up just like them. Look what he did to all those women. Lori wasn't even on YouTube. She didn't even have a channel. She was just a girlfriend. And one that did nothing to him. Nothing. And he plastered her nudes 
all over. Do you know why he did that, DC? Because none of us know why he did that. She did nothing to him. You're going to end up like him. And then you know what's going to happen? Yeah. You're not going to get sympathy from anyone here. None. None. And it's not even a case of I told you so. You are just like him. You are just like him. You have zero credibility. You are the biggest liar here. The biggest liar. Thank you, Granny. That's what Skeeter calls me. I'm Granny Linda. Yeah, I showed it. Except for it didn't have the smiley faces on it. She did nothing. That poor girl had a good job. And this is what he did. He tried to send that information to her job to get her fired. Why? Because she supported Skeeter, just like a friend does. Yes, I just showed it. Um, should I go back? If you go back and you'll see there's a picture of a blonde woman, but her boobs are have happy faces and smiley faces on it. I got to open the door before I pass out. <sighs> I'm friends with decent people. I'm not friends with scumbags in my life. They are decent human beings. Decent. How many friends does Megs have? Even his friend Puck is sick to death of him. Go over there and see when my Twitter was made and when Gabby's was made. I think it, she had hers a lot longer than me. I didn't know how to use Twitter. I couldn't be bothered to figure it out. I have a, a job. Sometimes I work 12 hours a day. I didn't have time to figure out how to put a Twitter account up. So I used my daughter so that we could have a group. What do you call it? A group um, DM, is that what you call it? The group DM, multiple, multiple people in it. So when you are going to be as petty as to say I lied, there's no lie. There's no lie. Who didn't know she was my daughter? Megs knew. Everybody knew. But we were keeping it private. She only came into the Patreon. Hop Frog saw her. I mean, I don't want to just be redundant and keep repeating the same thing because I feel like I am. But this woman will not come and talk to me. Because she doesn't have any basis for accusations. No, no, no receipts. I just showed you receipts and I didn't realize that that video had been on here for quite a long time. I, as if, you know, I'm watching it now in all its entirety, but he clearly says the reason he did this was because of Skeeter went on to MFWs. Hi Tara, honey, looking good, babe. I mean, he, she wants to talk about the private investigator. You know why? I gave that money to that drug addict. I gave money to that drug addict, his Jessica girlfriend. And I was like, who are these people I'm dealing with? I need to know the truth because I'm not plowing any more of my money into this guy. I'm not going to support this guy this way. He's spending his money that he, he made the day after his, I, I can't. I can't. And I did that after a fact. And I didn't let anybody know for, again, over a year. Over a year to find out, yeah, he did. He was arrested. He denied. He said, oh, I'm proof. Well, if I really want to produce that proof, I can produce that proof. Friends help friends. That's how I see it. That's how I was raised, being from New Jersey slash New York. That's what I believe. And I do believe in loyalty to people who are loyal to you in the beginning. You ought to be loyal to expect loyalty. And I got this lady, this lady coming for me about my husband. I think I would know. I think I would know. He doesn't know my husband's name. He doesn't know even my children's name. He, my, my daughter's name is not Gabby Mouth. 
Can you really be friends with somebody and not know the names of their children? Can you? But I, I don't believe the relationship at all. I don't believe that that's a real relation. I, I have seen how he has treated women. I have seen him behave disgustingly and appallingly. And I can't even imagine throwing a woman into the mix of that dysfunctional behavior. He has not changed at all. Even my kids have said they see the huge change. I'm calmer, I'm, you know, easier to deal with because I was a mess back then. You know, this is, you know, it was a huge loss. This is my second husband I lost. So, you know, the first one, this is why I drive like an old lady because my first husband was killed in a, a car accident. He was, you know, in a sports car doing 90. I think it was a Trans Am. It was quite a long time ago in the 90s. Um, I have a picture of it. I think it's a Trans Am. One of them, one of those cars. I drive because of the, what do you call it, PTSD of the situation. I drive like an old lady, really slow. It affects you. Not in a good way, clearly not in a good way. And it was affecting me at that time. But at that time, you tell me what mistakes I made and I will listen while you tell me. Tell me what you think I did wrong. I am open to hear it. I mean, it's just the two of you are acting like cowards. Well, it, it wouldn't matter to me because I wasn't in the country. Trust me. He didn't die in this country. I was on a plane on the way to see my dad in the UK. And when I got to the UK, I found out that he was killed. The friendship is transactional. Yeah, I do. Okay. And, 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 and you know what? That's fine. If the relationship was transactional, that's fine. But you got to get something in return for that transaction. Maybe a bit of decency, maybe a bit of kindness. Would that kill you? That's all. I wasn't asking for anything. I wasn't asking to clout change because I did was not ready to go on YouTube. I wasn't ready. And my husband was the one that chose the name Witty Widow because that's what he called me when he was alive because I had already been a widow. It was a little jokey thing. He always said I was the only one that could make him laugh. And so he called me Woody Widow or the Widow Anderson. I'm still waiting for this lady to come and tell me about the lies and why she would, after all his lies, why in the world? I mean, you got to be pretty stupid. She almost asks, acts, no offense to anybody who's a Trump supporter, but she, oh, she acts like one of those Trump supporters that believe the aliens are running the um, White House, you know, those type, the conspiracy theorists who will believe anything told. That's what it feels like. Right, same story, nothing's changed. Exactly. Nothing has changed. Where are the lies? Well, she was, she was, uh, she was ready to have um, Yaba and Sam. And by all, listen, Yaba is, is not a fan of me. I promise you that. And I was horrible to Yaba. So it's just, the situation was out of control. There was a lot going on. There were maybe mistakes made, of course, definitely on my part. But why can't we just hash it out? Get it done. So we can all feel better about it and not talk about it. And not make me feel bad for everything I've done, because I've done a lot of good. Nobody set out to hurt anybody. I didn't set out to hurt anybody. She'll never do it. You just lost your father. Oh, really? So I know. Oh, they've been together seven years. She just seems. Oh, there you go. 
There you go. We see you says on Sam's stream yesterday. She did job of you. Oh, she did. I couldn't. I couldn't listen to it. I couldn't listen to it because then I had to go through it again. You know, I was. I wasn't feeling well. I've been on the shitter for two days. I'm pretty sure people who have anxiety understand you get really bad diarrhea when you're. Yeah, I I just want to I just want to feel better about the situation. Me personally, just want to feel better about it. I don't know if he wants to feel better about it, but why can't we just all come together? Why? If he thinks I lied about something, he needs to come to me and talk to me and tell me what he thinks I lied. Yes, I blew the whistle on him on MFWs because he doxed me and I warned him. I told him I was going to do it. If you dare, if you dare dox me, shit's going to hit the fan. And you saw how he doxed me. You saw that whole thing, how he doxed me. You honestly believe I deserve that? Did you honestly believe I deserve what he said to me? On my own vacation, after my husband died, First of all, I'm over 21, and if I want to drink until I black out, well, that's down to me, isn't it? It's never happened. It's never happened, but I'm just saying. Not an alcoholic. Hi, Autumn. Who are you? I'm going to like that autumn of my winter. <laughs> it's glamorous. I had a good alibi. <laughs> Cheeky poop. Yeah, I never seem to be around when they die. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I showed a video yesterday of the last time I saw my husband, and I'm not even exaggerating. He left the condo, and I never saw him again. He had an aneurysm. He went into a coma. I got a call from, actually, from his attorney, who was a childhood friend, who called me to say that, he drops into a coma. And I couldn't understand why he wasn't answering my text, but I didn't think anything of it. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and I never saw him. I couldn't do it. Some people can. I couldn't face it. Thought I had all that time to prepare because I knew he was going to die. But I guess I wasn't prepared. I don't think you ever are, no matter how prepared you think you are. Oh, here we go. Well, is she gonna invite me on her stream? I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. Has anybody in this community ever had a hard time talking to me? I'm actually a good listener. You know, I, I always thought I was incredibly approachable, you know. All right, last chance. I'm going to put it in here. If she doesn't want it, she can come up for five minutes. I don't get it. And that's fine. Why doesn't she invite me on her stream then? There you go. Uh, 20 years ago. Uh you know what? And that's fine. And I understand that soft reset. I understand that this is their income and their job. But my life isn't their job. I mean, I, it's crazy to think people are making money off of bitching at other people on the internet who are not relevant, who are not famous. I'm absolutely nobody. I am absolutely not whatsoever relevant to anybody on this platform. I just come up to, you know, kick it with some people, smoke a little weed, you know, just chilling after work. That's it. It's better than hanging out in a bar. <sighs> Clara wants her blood sports. She will send you. You see, this is the thing. If she wants to tell lies, she has to have you know, a backup plan for the lies. She has to either show receipts. And when she says, I need to show receipts, well, I think my receipts are the witnesses. Because I think any court of law would say 
Four witnesses are enough receipts. Four people, four adults in that household at a time, maybe even Puck. But no, 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 no. No, 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 that's not good enough for her because according to her, we're all pathological liars. For what? What is the purpose? I don't make money here. Why do I need to lie? Why do I need to put myself through this? I get enough crap going on in my life. No receipts for her. She wasn't there. That's why it's so hurtful to hear somebody say things like that about me when I was knocking myself out. And at the time, I wasn't in the best of health either. This last stream, I was so not stream this last uh, vacation I was, I was so pumped up on prednisone and, and um, steroids that I was like a, a, almost like 200 pounds. I am five foot nine, but I was big. My face was swollen and I showed up at that house. You didn't see me as I, my friends hugged me and said, it's going to be all right. You're going to get better. You're going to get back to who you are and yourself. Well, they were there for me. They didn't care that I was losing my hair or that I just looked like a thumb at this point. Okay? Those are real friends. They came to be with me. And they treated me like a queen. You know? I don't need all this. Go on and bother somebody else. That's more believable. Not me. Because it's not believable. DC, I don't think anybody believes what you're saying. I'm sorry. I'm just not in a good place right now. Carlos, you know, I just don't feel good, you know. It just brings it brings back a lot of hurt. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. I know. I'm not doing it for compassion. I'm not doing it to show off or anything like that. It's just, you know, I'm honest about how I feel and I'm not a young girl at all. I'm closer to her age, very close to her age. And I wouldn't behave like this at this time of my life over a guy, you know? Oh my gosh, is that really Yaba? God, Yaba, I'm so ashamed of myself. I, I sent a message to Yaba. And I got to say, it took me all this time to do it because I didn't think I'd be received, you know, well, if I apologize, and I, I've been thinking about it for so many years to apologize to her because I, I was awful to her. And um, I was awful to her and also because I was witnessing stuff that I should have said earlier on. And I, and I apologize. I'm ashamed. When I look back, I am ashamed. I went along with it. I was basically co-signing it, really, effectively, co-signing what he was doing to MFW. And I got, you know, MFW, she's an entertainer. She's out there making her money, living her life the way she wants to live it. Good for her. She's making money. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I, all right, Yaba knows what I said, and she knows what I'm talking about. It was, it was, it was awful. It was awful. And I lowered myself because of him. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't pass the blame onto somebody else, but I suppose if, I guess when you're influenced, whatever, I don't know. I'm going to say is, DC, you're a mature woman. We're both mature people. We shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be doing this to each other. Woman to woman here. You can call me a clown. You can call me an actress or a faker or whatever. But I'm in Florida trying to recover here. This is the last place I want to be right now when I'm not feeling well. This is the last place I want to be right now. This is exactly how I don't want to feel. I'm here with my mom. I want my mom to see me like this. I don't want my mom to know how sick I am. I don't want to have to deal with it. And I shouldn't have to, because again, I didn't do anything to you, Ron. Except for expose you for who you really are. And you can expose me for who I am because I know some of the mistakes I made. 
And I have been trying since then to, um, I guess, redeem myself or be a better person. We all strive for that, don't we? When you're at a low point. I think Embry, who lost her husband at the same time as me, I think she understands. The lashing out. I, I, I was lashing out at people. I was saying really hurtful things to people. I was hurting. Even Bridget said it. Hurt people hurt people. I was hurting. I don't know why I was doing it. It was so wrong. And again, maybe I shouldn't have gone on Yabas, but he'd already doxed me. Maybe I shouldn't have gone on MFW and Yabas at the time. But you could tell by my voice, I was anxious. I was nervous. I didn't want to do it. I felt pushed to do it, just like he said. He felt pushed to do what he did. Okay, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <sighs> I mean, first of all, <sighs> with Yom and Sam, they're starting this awesome relationship together. I'm jealous. Yeah, I'd love eventually to have somebody by my side. I'm not ready now because of my health. That's awesome. And I'm happy right now for anybody that finds love anywhere they can. And they got a lot on their plate. They're supporting a large family together. That's a, How can you think of anything negative about that kind of situation? And I have always, always liked Sam. Loved her. I love her style. I love how classy she is. I love the way she speaks. I love her uh, sarcastic humor. She's very easy to talk to. I've spoken to her on the phone. She's just really nice. She doesn't bullshit. She also, she's like Yaba, my husband said, even that Yaba can see through everybody's bullshit. She is smart. Yaba is smart. When I was listening to her a while back, I was, this wasn't recent. I was thinking, yeah, this, this girl's really going to make it. This girl's going to make something of her life. She's too smart to sit back and wait for somebody else to help her out. She's going to be somebody. She strives at it. She works at it. And somebody has to give her credit for that. Because look where she came from. She came from a situation that, you know, you have to try to make the best of it. And the situation was she was a single mom with more than just one kid. Three kids. You know how hard it is to do that? Three kids and come up with the funds to make sure they have sneakers for gym class, you know, school supplies, change of clothes for every season that goes by and they grow out of socks, just a regular daily thing. She has to provide three kids on one person's salary. Do you know how stressful that is for any mother? It is hard. And of course, there's asshole Linda to jump on top of that and and I'm sorry for it because I am ashamed. I'm ashamed. And I, I knew that when I sent the little note to her, I said to myself, yeah, she's just going to delete it. She's, she's not going to think I'm sincere. And I don't blame her. Honestly, I don't blame her. But I think a lot of us have grown. When we've been on here, we've grown. We've learned how it works now. And I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I really don't. I don't know. Was this a mistake? I don't know. I want to go to sleep tonight and feel like I can rest. And this woman, she needs to cut it out. She needs to let Ron fight his own battles with the truth. And if you're not going to do it online, Ron, then pick up the phone and call me. Will that kill you? Can we put this to bed? Can you leave those women alone? Can you leave everybody alone and let everybody do their own channels, make their own money, and be happy? You want to see this woman in handcuffs in front of her child? What? Dude, how low are you going? And for what? What? What are you going to get out of it? No matter what happens to Yaba, she is always going to pick up herself and get on with things. Because that's the type of girl she is. She gets knocked down and she picks herself up. And she's shown that in six years. And you've seen it. And you see how many thousands of people are in her chat. Sorry, let me just get water. You see how many people are in chat? You know why? Because she tells the truth. And she laughs. And she finds the situation humorous. She's not angry about stuff. 
she's having a good time because you can hear the two of them laughing, which it makes everybody laugh. When you hear people laugh, you just sort of join in laughing. Laughter is contagious. Yes, I think resilient too. Resistant and she's very funny. Do you remember back in the day, Evelyn, when she used to do that voice of, um, it was one of the uh, cartoon characters. She used to do the voice of, oh my God. So funny. She used to break into that accent or that voice that she would do of that little cartoon characters. Oh my God. <laughs> I wish she would do it again. And Marvin the alien. <laughs> Remember Marvin the alien? <laughs> All right, I think I'm okay. Cartman, was that what it was? Okay, was that not funny? Who else was funny? Bunny Rev was funny. Yeah, that didn't work out. That didn't pan out either, but she was funny. These people are gonna make it. They've shown it. They've shown it. They're still here. He's lost his channel six times. They're starting to go. Get over it, Nags. Talk to all of us and put it aside. Put it aside. See if you can have some weed, smoke some weed before so you can calm yourself down if you need that for your anxiety. And talk about it. Talk about it so we can get to some resolve here. Because I don't want you saying that about my husband. It's 100% not true. I was not with my husband when he died. And that's hard for me. I got a lot of flack from my own family because I couldn't go. I could not get out of bed to go to my husband's funeral. I and mean, I got a lot of flack for that, so I don't need this. This woman talking about something she doesn't know anything about. I'm a person, I'm a real person, and I have feelings. I'm not ashamed to show how I feel, but I don't want to keep doing this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do any more videos on you. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's over with. It's done. I'm trying to think of positive things now. Don't you talk about my husband. Don't you say lies about him. You didn't know him. Look at my videos. He was a kind person. Towards the end, he was kind of mean because, you know, pain does that too. <laughs> He wasn't dysfunctional. He didn't beat me. Oh, sorry, just having some water. Don't worry, it's not wine. <laughs> I can't drink and drive. All right. I don't know. She doesn't want to come. I'd like to just resolve it. There's got to be a time or a place we can move past it. Because it's not just me. No. I'm watching what he's doing to Sam in Yaba. I'm watching that. What the hell? They are successful in what they're doing. They both get large numbers of people watching them. They respect Yaba and Sam. And this is killing him. This is killing him. But he is, he is just digging up old shit That's what I'm trying to do, <laughs> Petty. But there's no dignity in this. There's no dignity. Me come up here crying over some stupid YouTuber that's saying mean things to me. There's no dignity in it. And, and I'm losing dignity by being here. But I'm, I'm taking that chance. And hopefully, we can just move on. Please. You know? Leave the girls alone. We have told you so many times, ignore those girls back in the day. It wasn't Sam, though, because he liked Sam, but it was NFW. We said, leave them alone. Let them, they don't, forget it. Just laugh it. We tried our best. We knew what he was doing was wrong. We knew all this stuff behind the scenes was wrong. We didn't want to partake in it. The fact that we stayed as long as we did, is, that's my downfall, and, and I will accept that I was wrong to stay that long. Because like I said earlier, 
it almost looked like, you know, by staying that long that I was co-signing what he was doing. So that was my downfall, which obviously I apologize because my head is in a different space and I can see that. You know, there's some good shit happening right now and that's all these channels that are having some really good content. And I don't know what you're mad at Hussy for. The guy is a, a right, he's hilarious. The guy should be a stand-up comedian. I, mean, I would have a ton of fun with that guy if I was on his panel or if he was on mine, and I'm sure that won't happen, but I would have so much fun. I mean, he's crazy in, the, in, in a positive way, in a funny way. I love his personality. I love his hand gestures. I love how he waves his finger at the camera. I think he's funny. I think he sees Skeeter in Hussey. Oh, really? <gasps> I didn't... Really? Huh. I didn't put that, that two together. I really didn't. But he calls everybody that. He called me that when he thought I'd uh, taken a screenshot of his son in his underwear. I didn't take that screenshot. Remember, I was working all day. When I got back home from work, all this had broken out and it all come out that um, that picture of his son was to remind him that it's easy when you're a mother and you're streaming for one of your kids to walk in, you know, a million times his child had walked in and walked in front of the camera while he was in the middle of a rant. But he was accusing of a mother not watching his kid because his kid was in the background in the underwear when his son did the exact same day. Like 24 hours later, the irony of that, where his son walked in in his underwear while he was live streaming. You know? Oh, my God. He made me. I was watching him this morning. He came up this morning. Oh, I just, <laughs> it's his entire demeanor that made me laugh. Just everything about him. You know, the way he expressed himself. And that crazy look with the glasses and the wig. <laughs> now, how do you fight with a guy like that? How can you consciously fight with a guy like that? <laughs> I just want to hang out and have a drink with him. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for coming. I don't know where all you people came from. No one ever comes to my chance, but thank you so much. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to compose myself and, and go to my mom's house and see if I can relax and maybe get a nap in because I'm not feeling good. I'm certainly not feeling good about the situation, but the offer is out there. If she wants to talk to me, she could pick up the phone and call me. I totally agree, String Cheese. When I saw her fighting with him, I couldn't stop laughing at who she was fighting with. But thank you again. You guys are awesome. You really are. I don't know who half of you are or more all of you, but it's so nice of you to stay positive in here because I'm having a rough time today. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Everybody have a good day. Do the best you can.